Welcome back, and if we were playing the NES version, this would be the last episode, of course. In the PlayStation, DS, and Android and iOS versions, there are, is more to it. But we are about to fight the last boss of the main game. And we do have the wagon with this because I used the Baron's Bugle. You can beat him without the Baron's Bugle in the wagon, but it's, it's a lot harder. And there he is, looking like a Stark. Probably should heal myself. Yeah. Ah! How dare you people disturb me? I am Pizarro the Manslayer. I have just reawakened as the master of monster kind. Ah, I know nothing of my past. I remember nothing, but I know what it is I must do. Ah, I must eradicate all of humankind. Here we go. Pizarro the Manslayer. All right. First form. I want a kabuff. And sap. Nice critical. Alright, I'm not gonna turn into a dragon, but I don't remember Frizzle. Should have made sure she had prayer stones, but I got other characters I could use to. She runs out of magic. All right. All right. So this is uh, phase two. Critical. is starting to return to normal. Oh! Not good. Alright. Time for full heal. And, uh, sap again. Okay. It's Kabuff. And Kafrizzle. Got this shit. Okay, We're going on to form three. Where he has no arms at all. Sweet breath, Jesus. He's kabuffing himself. I'll have to counter that with sap. Sizzle isn't so bad. Let's see if I can sap him again. Yes, I can. Come on, wake up, Kirill. That didn't work. Sleeping. Uh, I have an interesting leaf to use, though. Defense is starting to go back to normal. 
God damn it, wake up, Carol! Not good. I gotta swap him out because he's not waking up. Let's put me in. Uh, she doesn't have like the spells that I'd want her to have, but she's a healer, so I guess I could hit a uh, insulate. All I could do that, and oop. I'll start hitting him with the swoosh. multi-heal, right? She doesn't. She has full heal. That's why she's an inferior character. Alright. Moving on. This is... We're moving on to the, uh... Ooh. Yeah, bye-bye. This is form four. She just had a med. Oh, I was using her as a healer. All right, hold on me. Let's see if I can switch Kirill back in. Hopefully, he's he's still asleep. Shit. Uh, put Ragnar in. Just hit hard. I'm gonna use Omni heal if I need to. Oh, I got a treasure chest. That's fine. I don't think I had anything on me except for Insulatal. Kazang. Oh no, he doesn't. He has regular Kazang. Well, let me use it. He's healing. Does somebody have Cockadoodle do? will do. I have a bunch of them, might as well. She's fast. This isn't going well right now. Nice critical, though. Nobody has freaking cockadoodle, do? He's not asleep anymore. Okay, we're good. And, uh, sap. Alright, I'm feeling better about this now. Kirill being out of the game for that long, I mean, he's the heart and soul of my team here. Insulatal would help here, too, but... Moving on to the fifth form. You're wondering, he has seven forms, so we're, we're on the ass end of it. Okay. Definitely want to make sure you have Kabuff on, because he's going to use physical attacks with those arms now. Protected. That's gonna hurt, but well, that's not so bad, actually. No, actually, you. Something else you could do. You can just attack, I think, really. He's got a pretty good weapon. It's 
surprised he's not attacking more physically. Oh god, maybe because it didn't work out so well for him. Multi heal. To heal again. I'm gonna do it again. Just, oh shit, just to be safe. Did the sap wear off? I think I might have the damage I'm getting now. Sap again, just to be sure. Nice critical. All right, moving into stage six. damage than I'd like him to do. I should double up on Kabuff, but I need to heal right now. Treasure chest off him, that's crazy. Alright, last form. They did some great sprite work here. There's no 3D models involved with the Pizarro, at least. Final form of the final boss. He likes to cast Bounce right away, but I'll show you a little trick. Use the Zenithian Sword as an item. Where is it? I have it equipped right now. Okay. You're gonna cast Kabuff just to make sure. You're gonna attack, and you're gonna defend, actually. There we go. I could have sapped him, but I wanted to make sure I didn't get hit, caught by that bounce. Alright, one thing I want to do is I want to briefly have Mina in to cast Insulatal. We are near the end of it, but this is where it gets hard. Oh, man, already with that? Oh, she's out of magic shit. Alright. Uh, anybody else have insulate? Does Borya have it? He does not. Alright. 
Just put Tronika back in and go ham on him. I mean, Kirill's low on magic too, but I could always use Lodo as a hero. I'll see why I leveled up, right? Oh, bro. That's the worst. Ooh. This is gonna suck. Alright, Omni Heal. Multi Heal. Oh, he, he can't. Alright. Alright, Carol's done. Let me, uh, switch him out. Well, actually, wait, let me. Let me try it. Let me see if he has anything that I can use. Here. He has the Staff of Divine Wrath on him. That's nah, not that great. It might be better to just have him attack, but... Oh my god, this is bad. Just get Omni Heal done. Especially her. But you know what? If I'm gonna have him just attack, you might as well have Ragnar in there doing it. Now we got something going. just kicking my ass right now. This is not going well. Oh! But I win! It doesn't matter! None of it matters. It's over. Ah! My my body is so hot. I I am defeated. My physical form is, is destroyed. Ah! <laughs> you think that's it? Oh, I got a little more. There's the Zenith Dragon. Grabs you up like it's Lord of the Rings. I am the Zenith Dragon. From my lofty dominion here, I observe all that takes place below. All that afflicts the human world occurs under my watchful eye. Behold the one who shares the blood of human and Zenithian alike, the great hero Lodo. I witnessed how your efforts drove both Pizarro the Manslayer and the secret of evolution deep into oblivion. No fear may now afflict you of your kind. Peace reigns once more over your domain. You eight, the Chosen, have thus completed your quest and reached the end of your chapters. I applaud your courage and determination. Ragnar McRyan, well done. You have fought bravely and resolutely. Elena! Though you were raised as a princess, you have shown great strength and courage. Borya and Kirill, the support you have provided to Elena has been exemplary, especially since I use Kirill and I don't use Elena. Mina and Maya, be assured that your miraculous feats will have set your father's soul at rest. Tarniko Taloon, people will continue to rely on your extraordinary gift for commerce. And last, but by no means least, Lodo. Words cannot describe the greatness of your importance. Such an exalted hero belongs here with us. Henceforth, you will live here in Zenithia among the Zenithians. Hmm? 
Do I detect an air of disappointment? You desire to return to the world below and live among your friends? I see. Very well. If you wish it thus, then so shall it be. The fellowship born among you all in the midst of battle shall be broken by none. Fare thee well, Lodo. And the hell was Sparky, huh? Oh, I think all I have to do is exit. For that a wingless weight witch should slay the Lord of the Underworld, it is unheard of. What miracles you have performed! Stay here among us, and let us live as equals. Nah, I'm good. Lo! The joyous faces do speak volumes! My dearest Lodo, though your parents had to forsake you in, their in, in your infancy, you are now risen to such lofty heights. May the bonds forged betwixt you and your fellow fellows forfend the grief you have suffered from the loss of your parents. So I beseech you, all of you, treasure this fellowship you have, and care for my Lodo as he cares for you. Forgive me, I know not wherefore my tears do not cease. Farewell, and God speed. It, I mean, they don't come out and say it, but it's pretty clear that this chick here is Lodo's real mother. Oh, sorry, this guy. You certainly surprised me. Maybe the Germans don't suck after all. <laughs> oh, wait, I got some treasures, didn't I? Like Sansa Time and Chimera? Really? I got some stuff off of Lodo, but it's like... Uh, Lodo, uh, Pizarro. You are way going, are you not? Take care. Your wagon and balloon await you outside. How'd the balloon get up here? Now, we watch the ending sequence now. The first ending sequence. There will be another. So, I mean, you know, in some ways I actually prefer this ending because it's sort of like there's a sadness to it. I mean... You know, in the end of it, Rose is still dead. You know, Amon did this really terrible thing, and that's what caused Bizarro to go, you know, like, full evil. And you gotta think that Rose could have brought Bizarro out of it. But that's for the post-game content. And you get to see what would happen if she does, and what would happen if Bizarro does come out of it, and then you get to go and fight Amon and all this stuff. But, um, and that, I'm going to be doing that, but I almost kind of prefer leaving it as it is. That's just my personal preference, but I, I do enjoy the rest of the game. It's pretty interesting stuff. Compton. <laughs> Sailing over Compton. Oh, here's where Elena lives. And Bori and Carol, of course. <laughs> They're fixing up the wall. I have a feeling she'll break it down sooner. She'll get bored, she'll break the wall again. Go out and punch snakes or whatever the fuck it is she does for fun. Take the roundabout way to everywhere, huh? We're going to where Ragnar goes. Yep. He gets to go back to just being like a guard. <laughs> Good for you, Ragnar. Now go guard the treasure room. Hill. And you do see them, they're having a funeral for Rose. Like I said, I like sad endings, 
in games a lot, so I did kind of prefer this ending, but... Well, you'll get to see what, what happens when you get the happy ending when you beat Chapter 6. Bum, 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 bum. It says Endor, so I'm assuming that's... Yep, Ternico. Gets reunited with his wife and son. Nice animation there, I thought, of him picking up his kid. I think I said the sprite work in these games is really, really top notch stuff. So we're heading down to. Um... I forget the name of the town. That's where me and Maya's father was laid to rest, but it's not where they wind up. They wind up in uh, Haverleon, but I forget the name of that town there. Or whatever. Sometimes these French names I get confused. I forget which one's which. So now Mina can go back to telling people, like, reading palms, and Maya shakes her titties for people. <laughs> it's, oh, it's not all that glorious, really, but all right. And that just leaves Lodo. And you know, he's from that destroyed town north of Casablanca. Where the hell's he going? Oh, here we are. Yeah. This part is pretty cool. That was the end. You're reunited with your friend that was killed in the beginning. The elf chick that, remember, she took your form and died. And then all of a sudden they're like, you know what? We didn't like shaking our titties and reading palms and being castle guards. And we're going to come and see you, man. Of course, Yuji Hori, responsible for all this Dragon Quest shit that we love so much. Akira Toriyama is responsible for the way it looks. Koichi Sugiyama, responsible for the way it sounds. Those three are pretty much Dragon Quest. Everybody else, like all the other names change, but those three remain pretty... pretty uh, standard throughout all of them. So just watch the credits now. So, see, you know, like, going into Chapter 6, you may not know, like, what to do, really. Um, so the hint is really to go to Rose Hill, because you saw they were having a, um, a funeral there for Rose, and you can visit her grave, and that sort of is the beginning of what happens next. Or, rather, an alternate tale of what could have happened instead of this. See, I think of what you just saw as, like, the real ending... And what's about to come as, like, the alternate tale of how it could have happened differently, you know, had things gone a different way. So, yeah. That's just my opinion on how it goes. I mean, you can think of it any way you want. Ribs Carilla. Sounds like a mafia name. 
Or maybe the guy just really likes ribs and he just ate a lot of ribs, so they, they started calling him ribs. And they're like, hey, ribs. And he's like, shut up, man. Don't call me that. And they're like, that's your name, ribs. We're going to put that in the credits. And he's like, don't you dare do that. He's like, we're totally going to do that, ribs. And then he, like, played the game and he saw that and he's, like, really pissed off about it. That's the world I want to live in. <laughs> that's the world I want to live in, where that's the way it happened. I don't have much to say, but I think I kind of said it all, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, let's name our kid Jason, but spell it J-A-Y-S-E-N. He'll grow up all right. He'll be on the sales team for Square Enix. And this guy, John Yamamoto, he's got, like, the most Japanese last name ever and the whitest first name ever. And I am aware that my name is John, but it is, like, the whitest name. Except for, like, well, there are whiter names, like Keith or, like, Chet. That's, that's pretty white. I was talking with my sister earlier, and... Well, I was talking about, like, I mentioned Nutella, and I was talking about how I really don't like it, and, uh, it's, like, such a white girl thing. And they're like, oh my god, you're right, like, they would put it on their boyfriend's dicks, this is my sister talking, they'd be like, oh shit, my boyfriend's dick is so huge, and I put Nutella on it, and I'm like, no, but I said white, it was like, so I did this, like, white girl was like, oh my god, Kit's penis is so large, like, I put Nutella on it, and it's, like, so much better. So there you go. That happened this morning. That was that was fun. And all the QI stuff, which we haven't listed here. Now we're coming on the end when it starts playing the same melody but slower. Meow, 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 meow. Well, you see why I made the, the last video shorter? Because of this. I think I'll name this one Finale with a question mark. So Dragon Quest IV original Japanese version. North American version. Okay. Fin. It's like almost like there's, you know, there's the unseen question mark there. You know it's there. <laughs> Let me just speed it up. Speed this up a little so I can get to saving it. Yep. Okay. And uh, I actually have to restart the game to load that save to continue, but I'm going to stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with the post-game content of Dragon Quest IV Chapters of the Chosen.